Hello. So today I thought I'd have my face on camera because it's a little bit, you know, like human interaction-y with um, you guys. Um, also, I'm a good looking SOB. Look at that face. Only kidding. I'm just doing it for the um, interaction. All right. So we are going to start where we left off from last time, uh, which is where we had... Um, what are you doing there? Um, oh dear. I seem to have created an anomaly. Let's kill that. Was that it? No, that's not it. Where did you come from, my friend? There we go. I've been playing around, so let's just, well, yeah, just get rid of them. Okay, so where we left off, obviously, from the previous tutorial, which you should go back and watch if you didn't watch that. And if you didn't watch the one before that, you should watch the one before that as well. So there's parts one, two, and three currently. Um, we have created a, a very small, very easy translation um, uh, tree here where we are grabbing objects um, and getting a point position, adding a value, setting a point position, sticking them into the output, and then a value that we, which is a float free, the floating point which is the decimal point uh, numbers and uh, XYZ positions into the input which and we create a little translate and if we select the Bifrost graph we can see that we can move it from in, from in Maya which is exceptionally good um, so we are going to take it a step further because what if what if I said to you alright um, I want strands, yeah, um, on these objects. Um, but I only want them on one object. You'd be like, yeah, don't worry, Phil. Um, we'll just create some strands. So I'm just going to type in normals, as you do when you're creating strands. Uh, create strands along normals. Um, and I would put that into the geometry and that into the output. So we get strands. All well and good, but I said to you, I just want strands on one object, and I want to be able to choose what object I put those strands on. Um, so, you'd be like, I don't know how to do it, and that's why I'm here. So, let's get rid of these strands for a second, because they're causing all sorts of upset. So, we've got our strands there, and um, we need to... And this is how my mind works. I need to get something from that array. Yeah? This is where all the objects go in. Let's just delete that one. Play ball. Alright, let's just not delete it then. Let's just leave it there. I don't know why it won't let me delete that. Uh, whatever. Um, I want to get something from that array. So I would just start typing get. And I'd look down here and I'd be like, oh my god, that was his get from array. So uh, I would be like, right, so now where do I plug this in? Um, it's got a funny colour on there, but that doesn't really matter because it's, cause it's an array. You can stick anything into it. Um, well, I could get, I could plug that in there maybe, and then plug that into the strands and plug the strands into there. Would that work? Well, yes. The strands are there, but have a look at this. If I try and move them, <gasps> the strands stay in place. So that is no good for us, right? So the reason for that is that we need to move further up the tree. Wee! So we need to be at the end of the tree because we've got a get point position, add, add a value, set point position. Yeah. So anything we want to add on top needs to be after the fact. So it needs to be after all of that information. So I'll just drag that out geometry into there, and then I'll stick that value into there. Now, um, the nice thing about get point uh, get from array is that you've got a thing called an index, and if you've used mash before or anything with IDs, um, you'll quickly understand that an index is basically um, a tool for selecting various objects or whatever by changing the numbers in increments so at uh, the moment if we just check we can see that we have got strands on one of our objects now if I want to 
change that index to number one because you can start from zero with indexes number one or now it's uh, on our little guide down here two lovely jubbly it's on the cube three it's on that cube as well is there a four nada so we stick it back to zero and if we go to our uh, bifrost graph we can move everything at once even the strands and that is because we are further up the graph um, connecting all of that so we can take this a little bit further and i'm just going to keep it simple although i might find this something more complicated i'm not sure whether i might leave it for another tutorial but we'll see um if here's the index input sorry with our translate on it so what if you want to create some functionality for an animator you can do that you can be like okay well let's just take the index which is where we select where these strands go into the input and hey, voila it turns up down here and it's called index i would rename it uh, to something that my dumb brain would remember like choose mesh yeah I'll, I'll make it look like that as well it doesn't matter choose mesh and now if I come in here and put some numbers on one two yeah and I can even middle mouse drag it and uh, you know I could even animate it if I was that bored but I'm not so we've got an index going back here that is fantastic so now we can create uh, another object. So we could create a cylinder. Um, and I'll just whack that over there. And I'll drag that in. And we can put that cylinder. Uh, well, let's just put it into this one. And we can see that that is now the top level. And because we are using index zero, um, that is what has got the strands on it in it. Uh, and yeah, there we go. That's all working. That's all lovely. So in today's lesson, which is about seven minutes long currently, we've learned about get from array, um, so that we can get some information from an array. Now my issue is now, do I take it further? Because I was gonna compound all of this and make some new inputs and outputs and see how we can neaten this all up. Um, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to say thanks for watching, like and subscribe, um, and now I'm going to decide whether I'll carry on, because sometimes things go wrong, and uh, if they go wrong, I could have cut the video when I just said like and subscribe. So if you see in this bit, everything went all right, and we're going to carry on. Right. So, get point position, value, add, set point position, all of that stuff, and the array, I'm going to uh, I'm going to compound. So I'm going to drag a selection over these guys. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go create compound. And then wah, 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 everything's gone red. We've broken it. We've broken it. So now we need to fix it. And it's really not that much of a problem. Um, there's a few things we're going to need to sort out. One is that if I try and bring a mesh in now, I haven't actually got anywhere to put it. Um, so that's a problem. We've got a red output, a red get from array, a, a red compound. So let's go and fix it. So if we dive into this compound now by double clicking, we're now into um, uh, another level down the rabbit hole. So. It's not really a problem. And what? let's just have a look at what's going on here anyway. And it's, it's quite interesting because if you dive inside any node um, inside Bifrost Graph, you're kind of like, ah, how does this work? There's like, it's just one massive rabbit hole. We can assume, well, we. Look, I'll tell you, let's not assume. This input and this output is quite simply the input to the compound and the output of the compound, right? Um, so, with that in mind, we can link up as many things in here as we want, and they will become outputs and inputs in our compound, which is really cool. So, what is the problem at the moment? The problem at the moment is we've got out geometry on our uh, level one, 
going into these ports which are named this and it's all confusing for this little man down here because he's now in another place all we've got to do is unplug that and plug that back in there delete that one and then when we come back out almost nothing's red but it's we've disconnected right so we just need to connect that back into there that's it all the red has gone um, it's genius absolute genius so now uh, everything works we can't see our objects but that is because I need to put the objects back into here let's delete that port uh, now we need to go back in again because we've created a new port on this compound from here so we need to go back in there and we're going to need to reattach uh, this to here so it's made it happy we come back out everything's happy right so those ports are in sync um, so that's great and look at that he just went red there I swear it let's just reconnect these guys up because it doesn't like the old ports there's a lot of that but it kind of makes sense when things start to go red just replug and unplug just turn on turn off you know like you do when your internet's not working right so all our objects are back okay good and if we get to the graph and move it around that is all working don't worry about that that's our original object it is shouldn't be there so that's great that works wonderful however um, what I want to do now is add another object okay um, I'm going to add a uh, another torus um, but this one's going to be rotated in a really horrible way and it's going to be down there and we're going to drag it in here we're going to drag it in here and the original one we're going to stick on this display now so it's gone so here is our torus so I could plug that down here but it doesn't show up and that is because the input for this has only been made on this level right when we go in here it hasn't been made so if you want to make something that's kind of artist animator friendly what I would suggest is we'll go here and I'm just going to delete all these ports It'd be nice if you could just like drag a selection over these and delete them, but you can't. And I'm going to delete that. And he's gone red. He's like, I, ah, and they're all going off. It's all kicking off. But all we got to do is create something simple here. It's another array. Just create another array. We'll create a build array here. And I'm just going to start plumbing in all of my friends. Now look, this array will always stay on this top level and we'll name it something else shortly. And I'm going to stick that array into there. Everything's freaking out because nothing is real anymore and we're losing touch with reality. But if I drag that array now into here, ah, everything's starting to make sense. We come back out here. Oh, everything's calming down here as well. Thank you very much. So now I can, whenever I want, I can bring in a new mesh and stick it on that array. Everything should be back in the scene. I can go down to the graph. I can move everything around. I can play with the index as much as I would like. Although don't play with it too much, you might go blind. And then that is kind of that. What we've done is smartened everything up. Um, and yeah, that, that is it. We could compound these guys if we want, but I'm not going through all that again. I don't know about you. Um, build array, we could just rename this guy. Um, um, add object here. Add object here so that someone that really doesn't like Bifrost can come in and just ping, 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 plug in new things there. This compound, we could call it... Um, uh, translate mm. translate oh we might have a double naming issue translate geo there you go there's something you learned there because i called that translate it was like yeah you called me translate you can't call me and him translate 
so we just rename it and then we can just you know just drag some nice little backdrops over and we've created a compound that works it's functional it does something we can add whatever meshes we want here we can add alembics we can add animated things um, and it's all come together beautifully and uh, that is it that's the end of the tutorial I don't know what more you want from me um, so yeah like subscribe we did get there I hope that made sense you know me um, it's all a little bit it's not quite uh, the way other people teach things but it's just me you know it's probably why I'm not a wealthy man from YouTube but uh, that's, that's just the way it is Right, so I'm going to go and I'm going to try and drink less coffee for the rest of the day because I think I'm way too wired. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I absolutely love you. But if you press that like button, oh my god, amazing. Right, see you later. Nice one. Cheers, bye.